Welcome to Scheme and Dream Podcast, where we are going to light the beam today. We will light the beam at 3.30. We will light the beam. But first, what are we going to do? We are going to talk about drugs for your dare shirt. What do you want to do? Five drugs that you're intrigued by but have never done? I'm going to do drugs based on if I think that they would kill me or not. Okay, I can go off that list. Um, can I start? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to start with Jankum. Okay, so what's Jankum? I don't even know what that is. Is a hallucinogenic inhalant made from fermented human waste. Made by allowing human urine and feces to ferment in a bottle with a balloon. Covering its opening, its effects are a cross between cocaine and LSD. A euphoric high with strong hallucinations. So would you snort it? Past. Is it a snorty drug? Is it an injecty drug? I think you just breathe it in. Your it. I, think it's like, drug? I think it's like a whip it type thing. Ah. I think you breathe it in. I've never done Jankum, but I am very interested. What about whip it? <laughs> <laughs> you got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> yep. There you go. That was like my uh, my boneless wing order. It was a little appetizer in my life. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're honing your skills. <laughs> I was still a boy. <laughs> yeah. Practicing your craft. Um, so I think roofies, I would definitely die. You know, I could just picture walking into your apartment and you roofie yourself. It'd be funny. Wake up the next morning a little confused. Um, let's read about it. It's uh, it's used to commit sexual assault. Okay, never mind. I don't want to do roofies. But if you roofie yourself, it's kind of funny. Yeah, it would be funny. All roofie right. Myself for sure. Can I go again? Yeah, go ahead. Salamander brandy. Um. Okay, what's that? You have to drown a salamander in a bowl of fermenting fruits. In an effort to protect itself, the salamander produces toxic mucus from its pores. Once dead, the salamander is tossed out. Remaining mixture of alcohol and salamander mucus is distilled into brandy. Uh, has euphoric and hallucinogenic effects. Incre- increases sex drive to the point where everything in the environment seems like an erotically charged being or object. Um, yeah, I mean, that doesn't sound... That sounds fun. Sounds like a good time, right? Yeah. I'm two for two. Um, I'm on bath salts here. Okay. So the way you can take it, it hits all three. It can be swallowed, snorted, or injected. Um, it's been banned by the F or the DEA. The possible health effects, short term, are increased heart rate, blood pressure, euphoria, increased social ability, sex drive, paranoia, uh, agitation, hallucinations, violent behavior, sweating, nausea, vomiting, insomnia, irritability, dizziness, depression, panic attacks. Reduce more control and cloudy thinking. And the long-term health effect is death. It sounds like you when you don't have vape. You got to turn to alternative methods. Yeah, that sounds like... That actually sounds like you without vape. Bath salts were kind of in for a while. What about angel dust? What do you think? Would you do it? Um, I don't think I would ever do it, but I think I'm intrigued by it. It can cause memory loss, problems with speech thinking... You will have no appetite, and you'll have a lot of anxiety. Well, I already got the first two. It's unknown if you can do it with alcohol, so I think you might want to try and fill it in. All right, my last one. How do you even pronounce this? Scoptilamine, uh-huh. also called devil's breath. Okay. It's That's a it. Colombian drug. Okay. Uh, you're conscious, but in a zombie state. Hmm. It was used in Nazi Germany as a truth serum. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this drug to you, and you tell me what it is. Okay. Because I know you've taken it. Okay. Um, it's native to Southeast Asia. Um, hold on. It can cause nausea, dizziness, itching, sweating, dry mouth, constipation, increased urination, loss of appetite, low doses, increased energy, sociability, alertness. Sedation, euphoria, and decreased pain. Opium. No, you've you've taken opium. <laughs> no, this is what I thought. This it is was. something you've taken. Nicotine. No, I've. Um, you're supposed to chew these whole leaves, or it could be eaten mixed in food or brewed as tea. 
and it's occasionally smoked. Is this uh, Blue Lily? A Kratom. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is Kratom. Kratom was nice. <laughs> you almost overdosed on it. I was taking it for a while because before it was a drug drug. Yeah. You get you already online. Jeff Bezos was sending it to you, right? I got it right from Amazon. From yeah. Asia. Yep. Because it was supposed to make your body feel good. And did it? I thought it would be like like a cooler ibuprofen. Did it help your body at all? <laughs> no. It's just... Uh, you played the best basketball I've ever seen. It did, but it made my heart beat really fast. I thought you were going to die in and the backseat of my brother's And then it started beating really slow. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to die for a minute. And I was sweating, but really cold. You're really good and at basketball. And I will say this. That was the best I've ever played. That veteran could guard you. Dude, I was hooping that day. But, so you normally take, uh, I think, what did it say, like three to five grams of it? Yeah. Yeah. I took 80. <laughs> I, t- I just took the bag. Yeah, he was microdosing like the normal amount, and then he just went for the whole thing. I didn't want to wait on it. The bag was either, it was either 80 or 100. I think I took 80. Yeah, I think you took 80. I don't think it was a safe dose. No, I thought you were going to die for sure. <laughs> it was all right, though. You beat it. You know what? This podcast also supports Kratom. Yeah. We are a Kratom... We should Al- get sponsored by Alex Kratom. Jones. Alex Jones. <laughs> Still not all in on it. He's hilarious, though. Let's let's rape possums. <laughs> He's so funny. He just doesn't miss. <laughs> no, he does. He's he missed for sure. That's why he owes a billion. Uh, what did Dion Waiters say though? Yeah. I'd rather go <laughs> 0 for 30 than 0 for 7 because that means I stop shooting. I don't think that's a good analogy for a man talking about. A school shooting for children. <laughs> All right, you got me on that one. <laughs> uh, Bill's draft, how do you feel? Um, I feel good about it. You like it? I didn't really like the pick for the Kincaid pick. As soon as we made it, I was kind of scratching my head. I loved it. But I do love it now in hindsight. I, I watched him at USC. Uh, high, high, oh, the 200 something yard game. 240, 16 catches and a touchdown. I do have a stat, though, on him. What's that? 43 of his 71 catches were for first downs. That's crazy. He also. Chain mover. Won most of his contested catches in college mm-hmm. and only dropped two passes. 56%? Yeah. That's the catch rate. Yeah, that's crazy. Do you think he's going to be like our slot guy? Yeah. Like, spread him out. Yeah, he's going to be like Kelsey. Sets. Yeah, he's going to be like Kelsey. I like getting Torrance in the second round, too. Yeah, we have mocked us. Did you see his suit? Yeah. The cats. That was tough. And his hat wasn't Our an draft NFL hat. draft no, hat. No, yeah, Bill's so, hat. So he actually went out and purchased the Bill's hat. Yeah. He won't have to do that ever. Culture yeah. guy. Yeah. He won't have to pay for anything. He's above, huge. Though. He is a giant. He's 300 and what, 30? You'd swim over on him, though. <laughs> no. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Dude, I don't think Little so. Little man wins. He's got typewriter feet. <laughs> do you think you could get through any, like, the worst offensive line? Do you think if you got, like, a thousand tries in a season? To get through the whole line or one offensive lineman? Just get through one. Just win one battle. I think off a thousand tries, I could get one. You think so? I think they're a lot bigger than me, so they'll get tired. Yeah, and you. There's one thing about you. You got stamina. Yeah, yeah. But you don't think speed kills out there. You don't think on try number like 500, they I, would just let me win? I don't think. I mean, like if you're going against like the Bears last year's or two years ago line, or, yeah. the, or like the Bengals, or like two years ago old Jets line outside of Nick Mangold. Like if you took each. Player that's the worst at their position in the NFL uh, on a line. Do you I'll, think you get through it? Once? I'll call it right now. Thousand tries. Yeah, I'm beating Cody Ford about ten of them. <laughs> <laughs> Can we tag Cody Ford in this? Can we at least try and get like a response out of him? Because I really would love a Cody Ford Ben Hutton two sided beef in seven one. We would fly him back into Buffalo. What was your moment that you were like, you know what? I fucking hate Cody Ford. I don't, was it the Houston game? I mean, he wasn't great for us. No, he's bad, I'd say. But I don't really hate him. He went to Cincinnati, right? He's... N- no. Cincinnati or Miami? 
Oh, yeah, now. Yeah, I thought you were talking college. No, college went to Oklahoma. Yeah. He's on Cincinnati Bengals. No, it wasn't that. What? It might have been that Houston game. Yeah, because he got the block in the back on the – yeah, like to take us out field goal range. But it was also the next year after. I sent out, I sent out a text and said, "I will pay for his flight home." Um. Yeah, there's not a lot about his poor performances. How about we fly him out? He's gonna sit. He's sitting economy, right? Him? Yeah. Yeah. So he's gonna have an uncomfortable flight right off the flight. Thousand tries. You know, Cody Ford last year. He had 350 offensive snaps played. He had two penalties against him and three sacks allowed. That's not awful. Uh, the penalties tied him for his overall grade, though, was a 41. Okay, not, not good. good. No. No, that's pretty bad. How much does he weigh? How much does Cody Ford weigh? Like 280. He is 6'3", 330. I'm an installer. You think you can get around him? I said 1,000 tries. I could do it. I'll, I'll die on the 10 hill. You think so? One in every 100. He can one in every 100. You can get around. Okay. But what count is a pound if he holds you? What yeah. count that is you get by him? Okay. Done. Or if he gets you in the back? Done. I'm just spinning every A penalty is a win. I'm drawing him. Yeah, I can get 10 then. If you can get him off sides, <laughs> play some mental games with them. <laughs> we got to get him in. You think, or false start? We will f- We will pay for his flight to come in. Uh, yeah, dude. Take him to Westfield. Give him the geese shit. I think I got you at home field badge. Oh, dude, I had to walk through that geese shit every You're day. You're going to be throwing sp- geese shit at him. Every day to school, I walk through that geese shit. I could yeah, do see, it. Yeah, see, this is you. I could do it. Emily, who do you got your money on? I don't know who this is. He's an NFL offensive lineman. He was really, really bad. For the like, Bills. Like one of the worst rated. I'll go Ben. You think Ben could get... get one in every 100. Touch? I just have to draw a penalty, essentially. Mm-hmm. Draw a penalty, get by him. Whatever happens first, you know? Yeah. I want everyone here to go to the bank. <laughs> take out everything they own and throw it on me. Okay, so... The odds are not in my favor. Okay, how about this? I'm a dog going in. How about this scenario, too? No, I think a 1,000. Yeah, he was up there for top and penalty, so I think I could do it. Hit the link in the episode description to get 25% off your first purchase at CB Distillery. There's free shipping on orders of $75 or more. Things such as gummies, oils, chocolates, drink mixes, bombs, and even more chocolates. You can shop by benefit, too. CBD relaxed to sleep for pain relief, and it's even good for your pets. <laughs> New Delta 9 THC gummies available in states where it's legalized. You want to support a good cause? Head on over to the shop. We got hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, bucket hats, all the essentials you want and more. The link will be in the episode description and it's also in an Instagram bio at Scheming and Dreaming Pod or hit us up at snackspot.se slash creator slash dspring.com. And if you're interested in advertising on this show or our twin show, Two in the Cooler, email snackspotsports at gmail.com for details on how you, yes, you can start reaching thousands of listeners in the Buffalo area and beyond. Fuck Bill Gates. Okay, so in the WNBA, the worst team is Indiana at 5-31. and 31. Yeah. Do you think if you spent three years playing basketball nonstop, you could get Indiana into a championship team. Oh. Is you're in your best shape of your life. You're in prime basketball to form. To win a championship or to go to the championship? You have – they sign you on a five-year deal and you have to – You, what are you, 25 now? Yeah. You are probably in your best shape, what, two or three years ago? Like basketball, cardio shape? Maybe when I was like 14. Okay, let's say as an adult. How about 14, but I have my mind now? How about 20? <laughs> 20, right, and you're 20. in your 14 year old shape. Okay. And you get a five year deal to deliver Indiana. Five year WNBA, WNBA max? Yeah. So I'm making what I make now. You're making about 80, 80 grand. Oh, yeah. You think you can? I don't. You probably get a bonus for winning a championship, though. I think I could get there. I don't think we're beating. Uh, Vegas. The Aces, yeah. We're not beating Vegas. But if Vegas gets bounced, I think we could do it. 
Five years. You you are leading this group of women. I'm jacking. I'm jacking the shots. I know. You're going – you put up 48 shots a game. Yeah, I'm going to be like the uh, JR. What do you think your league. numbers would look like at the end of the season? If you played a full – like, let's say it's year three. You honed your skills. Oh, all right. So You've you, been in the playoffs. I don't have to worry about not being able to dunk. Borderline playoff team. Yeah, I mean, it's not happening either way. I think a casual 19. Average 19 points. 19, 15, and 4. 4 assists? Yeah. How many blocks? 6. Think you're getting 6 blocks? No, I'll probably get like 3. <laughs> I'm just going to be a low post player. Yeah. I'm gonna, by year 3, if we haven't won the first two, I'm transitioning down. To a low post player. Oh, okay. Why? What'd you think? I don't know what you meant by transitioning. I think I could do it. Um. Yeah, I think you could too. Indiana, they're okay. So let's see. Indiana, who's on their roster? Oh, that's tough. Because we could tank the first two years, essentially, pick up some picks. So, Indiana is 5-31. and 31. Los Angeles is 13. Oh, you know what? You can pick what team you want to go to. I'm going on Indiana. Atlanta's 14-22. Minnesota's 14-22. LA's 13-23. Indiana's 5-31. and 31. Indiana. I got to be on the 5-31. and 31. Their home and road splits are about the same, and they've lost 18 games in a row. Okay. Not great. What's one take? Since I just kind of had two delusional takes, what's one take you think you could do? I think I could. I think I could bring a, a WNBA team to the playoffs if I was in good shape. So you're what? Twenty one. Yeah. You're mine now. Yeah. I could take LA. Fourteen year old stamina. Yeah, I could take LA or or Minnesota or one of the or Atlanta to the playoffs. Be tough in Atlanta. So, uh, Destiny Henderson looks like the best player for Indiana right now. Okay. Guard? She played, yeah, she's a point guard. She played at uh, South Carolina last year. Oh, so we're good. That's a one two punch. I got faith in it. Let's see if you remember her. Oh, yeah. You might not remember her, but I'm sure you'd want to. She can shoot from three. I remember that. Yeah, there you go, King. She'll be dumping it down to you in the post. She can light up the lamp from three. <laughs> You'll be Jackie Moon down there. Oh, she might miss nine months out of the next season, though. <laughs> as I can like, help your chances. We have five years. <laughs> yeah, what are, your, what are your offs that bad? You said you're going to take it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you uh, caught the nine months. Right? Yeah, I got it. Do you think you could beat... How long would you have to train to beat Jake Paul in a fight? Is he not training during this time? No, he's making YouTube videos. Oh, I think... Give me like a year, year and a I half. think a year? Year, year and a half. You guys like the same size? I definitely weigh a lot more than him. <laughs> Because I don't think I could cut to 180. Um, he's 6'1". Like uh, 190. What's, right? a, what's a cruiserweight? What are we fighting like 160? It's like 200 pounds. Oh, okay. 190. 6'4". 260. <laughs> Stop. About 230 now. So well, you have to cut about 40 pounds for this. We'll meet in the middle. We'll go. I could probably get down to two hundred. Yeah. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be all ribs and dick by that point. <laughs> Bean said, "There's an open competition for a, for a position for the uh, linebacker." Yeah. Probably. Why was everyone so upset that we took a linebacker? He's small. Six one, two thirty. He's an athlete, though. Yeah, he's a freak athlete. But the thing is, like. Everyone said we needed a linebacker going into the draft, and then we draft a linebacker, and everyone's mad that we drafted a linebacker. Yeah. We weren't going to get Jack Campbell because the Lions took him. I wasn't huge on him either. Lions were the king of the reaches. Yeah, it was bad, Gibbs. I like the guys I got, though. 
I, I like didn't Gibbs. like Gibbs in that early. That was early. Yeah, he was like 16th, right? Or 17th? Yeah. But yeah, too early. No, they took him at uh, 12. They took Campbell yeah. at 18. Yeah, and Bijan went 8th. Yeah, to the Falcons. That was a bad pick, too. The Falcons had three running backs inside of the top 20 last year. For, like, fantasy and that purposes. Yeah. So I don't really understand what they're, they're doing. They're cooking. Yeah, but who are they going to throw the ball to? Because they, they won't throw it to Kyle Pitts. London. He's solid. He's good. He's a good receiver, but. Would you take him on the Bills? Yeah, 100%. Really? But they also need, like, a quarterback, too. We got we got a um, wide receiver that's built like you, though. Shorter? He's built like DK Metcalf. He's built like you. I don't think I think so. if he saw you at the Galleria Mall, he'd walk out the other side. <laughs> no. <laughs> dude, this dude's jacked. He'd see you look at the shoes and he'd put his back. He would see me at street game kicks. Yep. <laughs> Scoping out a pair of $200 Air Forces that are clearly fake. <laughs> Shout out to street game. What's the most amount of money you spent at the Galleria Mall? Uh, I go Christmas shopping there. I do all like my shopping in person. When's the last time you went to the McKinley Mall? Have you been there since somebody got stabbed at Sears? <laughs> Probably. When did they get rid of Foot Locker there? I didn't know that they did. So last year? <laughs> Maybe? I think I was in there two years ago. So last year? I go to Best Buy from time to time again. Well, the Bed Bath & Beyond just got cl- well, closed there, too. Do you know they don't have a Beyond section? Bankrupt. It's Bed Bath Bankrupt now. <laughs> Do you remember going to Bed Bath & Beyond? Yeah, the last time I'd been there was with you and you bought cookies and that was it. <laughs> well, I bought lemon cookies. Yeah, you bought, you bought a pack of cookies for $8. That was it. Uh, we just kept trying to find the Beyond section. Yeah, I thought I am Sandler. <laughs> it was going to be in the Christopher Walken. It was a cool store, though. Yeah. I didn't hate it. I actually enjoyed my time there. You're buying cookies? Where are you going to buy those now? 7-Eleven? Wegmans. Wegmans does have them. I'm a big Wegmans guy. What? I don't like the Wegmans near me. Why? It doesn't matter what time you go. It's so packed. Yeah, it's part of the experience. Dude, it's disgustingly packed. I went like at nine o'clock on Sunday before, and it was. Packed. You never go on Sunday to White Buns. Nine o'clock? It doesn't matter. The Sunday show. Dude, I could go on like Tuesday at ten o'clock, and it'll be packed. You won't be able to. Yeah, buy a but it's spot. not like Sunday at Wegmans. Sunday at Wegmans is like, dude, you might get stomped, trampled. Yeah. It looks like uh, Best Buy on Black Friday. Whoa, pandemonium! Whoa, 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 whoa! Chill out. But, no, I like overpaying for groceries, so I go to Wegmans. Really? And then maybe one day, maybe if I get, like, a subtle, like, 3% raise, I'll start going to Trader Joe's and pay even more. Really? I've only been, I haven't been the. I've never been to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is cheap. Yeah, it's is pretty it really? Good. Yeah, I like Trader Joe's. I thought it was, like, a bougie spot. No, they just don't have a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. Like, it changes a lot. I would appreciate going to a store and them not having anything, though. And then having to go to another store. <laughs> Have you gone to save a lot? I went there one time for butter. Well, I bet they didn't have the butter. They did not have the butter. Yeah. I went to Wegmans. So you should start going to save a lot. Yeah, but I like I like some bougie options. What do you mean? Like, I like the, uh, I like the meat section at Wegmans. Where you walk past and they got all the steaks there, even though you never really buy the steaks from there. I'm going to buy a steak from there today now. Really? Yep. Talk me into it. Get the uh, get the bison ribeye. Treat yourself. What's a weird animal you want to eat? Oh. Have you ever looked at an animal and been like, you know what, I would try it. I want to eat bear meat. Or like kangaroo. Or eat kangaroo? Yeah, I've actually thought about this question before. What? Well, why bear meat? I heard it's good. Especially like the bears. I was well, you do think you can kill one with your bare hands. Black bear. There's no shot. Dude, I think I have a fighting chance. Dude, it would never ha- It would never work for you. 
I think it would be easier taking out a black bear than Jake Paul. That's insane. Black bear didn't knock out Tyrone Woodley. They're seven feet tall, 400 pounds. Dude, I have... Do you know what you have me doing today? I have a full day lined up now. Dude, it's like three feet tall when it's on all fours. If it stands up right to fight you because it's pissed off that you punched its nose, it's going to stand up but and if, be seven if feet you tall, hit, if you 400 hit, pounds. If you hit a black bear's nose, it normally retreats. So wouldn't that count as a win? And you go hunting from there? Dude, every single thing that says it is shoot it. How many black bears uh, kill people a year? It's going to be like under 100. Okay, so somebody asked a tough question here. It's going to be under 100 black bears. I got a full phone now. I can actually look this up. Okay. So this guy I'm said. I'm coming different with facts now. This guy said, what is the best strategy to win a bear, bear-handed fight? I'm assuming you don't have a gun, knife, sword, or kung fu. So Nothing. let's talk about this. Um, the number one answer was... Black bears kill less than one person per year. Because nobody average. goes into the woods to try and fist fight it. They're in the woods. People yeah, because love they, camping. They see the bear and they run away. Black bears are skittish. I don't care if you're a professional fighter or not. Don't even you don't stand a chance against this. I'm colorblind. Is that a black bear? Yes. Dude, black bear. Dude, look at it. That's a grizzly bear. That is a grizzly bear. Black bears aren't fighters, and we agreed that I'm fighting like a pubescent <laughs> black bear. No, we didn't. I it, we said preteen black bear. Where should you punch a bear? In the face. In the nose. In the nose. <laughs> it says lay dead if you see it. That's a grizzly bear. No. I searched black bear. No, black bears, you stand your ground and make <laughs> loud noises. Grizzly bears, you play dead. Polar bears, you're just dead. Did you know that in real life, there's only been two recorded human beings to kill a grizzly bear with their bare hands? How? I don't know. It's into this museum. I did hear the story about this one guy where he got attacked by two different grizzly bears on the same hike and lived. Because grizzly bears, you need a strong backpack that you kind of put to kind of prevent your, them from, like, clawing your neck out and that. I don't think – I really just do not believe that you could do it. I mean, the odds are heavily in that bear's favor, but I don't love my chances at it, but I'm still rolling myself on that one. I really just, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that. Rocky beat Drago. Drago wasn't a bear. He wasn't seven. He was Russian. <laughs> What's scary? They wrestle bears over there. Um... I'm trying to... I'm back on Reddit. It took me to Reddit, so I'm now I'm trying to find a good one. Oh, you're looking at uh, the threads? Yeah. These people are just confessing the, to random things that they do. Oh. Okay. What was that? Um, this one is... <clears throat> I used to touch my friend when he's asleep. I can't get this off my chest. When I was 15 years old, I lived in boys' hostel. I've been watching porn since fifth grade. It's yeah, but he shouldn't throw that in like that's an excuse. I think ever, most guys have. Um, he used to just go in this guy's room and just start... He said, I gradually started touching him. I used to play with our penises or making them touch and nothing else. I kissed him on the lips twice or three times. I didn't like it. After the deed, I used to go back to my bed, but when I feel lazy to use the washroom, I just used to stay there. 
Yeah, that's is a little Is this weird. sexual assault or rape? I'm always embarrassed. Somebody said, what kind of porn did you watch? That's a very good question. He said he watched straight and lesbian. I don't really have an answer for this guy. I'm sorry, bro, but you did rape someone. Is what someone said. I think this guy is just... Maybe therapy? You think? Yeah, like a lot of it. And maybe for the rest of his life. Dude, these are insane. I mean... They're so long. Yeah. Did you see McGregor? Some of these I don't want to read. You these. see McGregor was at the bare knuckle boxing event last night. Um, did you see that? No, what did he do? He ran into the cage again. The guy called him in, and they had a face off. And he McGregor now wants to fight for that championship. Why does he just want to get his ass beat all the time? I don't think he's ever going to fight again. Um, it didn't look good in the crowd when he was just doming a bottle of his own whiskey in the crowd would you do that though what if you had your own alcohol would you just drink it all the time yeah 100 percent. i would be an alcoholic everywhere with you i'm assuming i'm making money off this yeah yeah if yeah. you were like mcgregor like thing would you just be around drinking your alcohol all the time i would always have a bottle of proper 12 like apple or whatever it is now at what age would you would you make your kid drink it hmm are they from the States, or am I theoretically Conor McGregor? Where are you going to... Well, I, I feel like It's Ireland's, your child. It's going to be your your future fucking... If I was raising the kid in Ireland, I think a proper it's age... It's going to be Chlamydia. Like, like seven. Chlamydia Hutton. Like seven, I think, is a proper seven, age. Seven, seven I, bucks. <laughs> se, se, seven years old for seven bucks in Ireland. I think that's a proper age, actually. Uh, for those at home that know about this, uh, me and Ben have a bet where I have his first two born kids' names... And I have this first. Yeah, and one of his children's names is going to be Seven Bucks Hutton. That's actually a good name. You think? Like, I don't hate it. Really? I think that there's... I think your future partner is going to hate it. Yeah, I don't think my kid will like me very much when they hear the backstory. <laughs> See, you listen, Dad. Dad could get the one-timers down that day. You'll listen to me. Especially when they're older and they ask, like, oh, where'd you get the name Seven from? I like the name. Well, when your dad was 20 years old, he was playing NHL in a packed dorm room in Fredonia. And he got his ass handed to him. I was also playing a game I wasn't good at. You're good at it now, though. I have gotten a little bit better. Yeah. I just hit. You're great at hitting, though. 20 hits in a full game, that's an accomplishment. I've seen more. I think I can get up to more, but they don't count. I think count. Eric got 34. But I they don't. That's right, or but 36. I don't think they count hits after the whistle, though. They don't. So. Or penalties. Yeah, I mean, I took a few. Yeah. I mean, you, you took one for them to tie it up with a minute left, and then <laughs> you called for it, and I got back in, and they ripped it. That's not on me. The penalty was on you. No. How much do the Kings win by tonight, since this will come out next week? Uh, or are you on the Golden State train? I'm on the Kings train, you know this. But I got the Kings. I think they're plus, what are they? Let me look at their live odds. They're to win minus all. one. What's their odds to win it all? I think they win by 12. Because I am on the Lakers to win it all. You think they win by 12? They blow the doors off them? Yep. They're plus 3,400 to win it all. Draymond's in shambles. Plus 3,400 to win it all. Golden State's still plus 900. If you want to read into those odds. I don't like Golden State. I do not either. The Miami Heat are still plus 3,200 to win it all. You're so like, $50 take the heat. 1600 Take the Heat. To win it all? Give me Butler. I think the Heat beat the Knicks in this series at plus odds. That's kind of my take. Hemi Butler. He is him. The Did full- you see Jeff T confirm that he banged Rachel Nichols? Did he really? Yeah. On a podcast. I just heard about the uh, the Timberwolves practice story. Yeah, he told that one, and then he confirmed that he was banging out. He was banging the farts out of Rachel Nichols in that. In the Disney. bubble? Yeah. 
Because they got such a fake <laughs> fucking place. Yeah. Because they got a noise complaint, and then Jimmy Butler answered the door with his shirt off, yeah. sweaty. Yeah, he's putting in work. Good for him. Fake championship there. That's not a fake championship. It's so fake. How is it fake when the two teams are still good? They don't even have the same rosters. KCP's on the number one seed right now. They still have the same star players. Tyler Harrow broke his hand. He's not even playing. Still on the team. They still have Duncan Robinson. He sucks. He stepped up a couple games. He's those were the I think he averaged eight points for the season. They're still getting led by Jimmy Butler. Yeah, that's it. And then the Lakers still have LeBron and AD. Yeah. They're the worst teams. The Clippers still fold every year. If the if I don't think both those teams make it to the champ. If both those teams make it to the championship, I'll cut my finger off on the knuckle I'll let next podcast or when the, we do it. I think it's going to be the Lakers and Celtics. I'm walking back the Sixers take because I'm beads hurt. The Celtics, uh, I don't know. It's going to be the Celtics. Yeah, hey, their coaching is not very good there. Celtics, Lakers. But then who would beat the Heat? The Sixers. No. So it just comes down it's to the Celtics. Celtics beating the Heat. And then Lakers Celtics. I don't think both those I don't think the Lakers are gonna make it. I think the Nuggets beat the Suns. Dude, you the thing is you need Braun to be like like ready. He's not rested. tired. He's playing good defense. And you need A D to play forty eight minutes every game. He won't, but he'll give you four good ones in the series. Four or five. Yeah, they need to beat... D'Angelo Russell win you a game? I don't think they could beat the Suns or the Nuggets. I think anyone could beat the Nuggets. The Nuggets just beat the piss out of the Suns. It's game one. <laughs> that series Russell. is, what I say, Nuggets and six? Nuggets and five is what you said. I'm walking it back to six. Coward. All right, Nuggets and five. I, don't think, I think the Nuggets make it to the championship. I don't even think the Nuggets are like that great of a team. They are super good. They're like the best all-around team with the deepest bench in the league. Yeah, playoffs. but I think L.A. matches up scary well with them. No, they don't. A.D. locks up Jokic. He never has. Jokic has great numbers against A.D. in his career. <laughs> but A.D. always goes off against them. We've looked this up before. AD would have him in hell. There's no one to guard LeBron. Jokic averages 19 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists against the Lakers in his career. That's not, like, tremendous. It's For Jokic standards. It's almost a triple-double. For Jokic standards. And he shoots 50% from the field. What's Anthony Davis against the Nuggets in his Lakers career? Twenty-five, eight, and two in twenty games, and Jokic won the majority. I'm right. still taking twenty-five and eight. What do you mean? I would t- only take nineteen points, ten rebounds, and five assists or seven assists over it. Twenty-five, eight, and two. I'm still taking twenty-five and eight. It's probably in- inefficient because they probably got the brakes beaten off of them. Well, they did. That also counts the year AD kept missing games in the playoffs. Um, and Jokic is plus 51 when he's playing against AD. We'll see in the Western Conference Finals. Plus 51. We'll see in the West. I'm telling you right now, it's not a good matchup for the Nuggets. What do you mean? Who's guarding Jamal? I'm trying to think of who we're throwing Vanderbilt on. We got D-loading. We got Vanderbilt. Do you think D-loading's locking up Jamal Murray He's not right locking now? him up. Jamal Murray's got a, like a, a deep bag, but I think they would do enough. There's no one to guard LeBron. I don't think Aaron Gordon's good at basketball. No, he's really bad. And he had a good night last night. He's not doing that for four games in a series. I think Hachimura off the bench. I think the Lakers are deeper on the bench. Jamal Murray had 34 points last night. Yeah, he cooked. He did that two games ago, too, against uh, in that closeout game. Yeah, he's a good player. He scored player. 35. He's a good player. We beat him in the bubble when he was at his best. It was a fraud. 
We beat him the in bubble the bubble. Is a fraud we championship. beat him in the bubble. The bubble is such a fraud championship. Hardest championship no, in it's NBA not. history. No, it's not. LeBron said it. Okay, He's never but, lied. But listen, yes, he lies all the time. <laughs> he never lied. Uh, he watched The Godfather. He didn't, and he also has no idea who soccer players are. LeBron's never lied. <laughs> he did call Kobe's eighty-one. He he called Jalen Suggs hitting the half quarter. He called Steph Curry being a stud. Yeah. That one he actually did because he sent Curry a signed jersey. Dude, Curry was literally everywhere. He was Davidson going to the Final Four, obviously, and he was scoring 30 a night. Jimmer was still a bucket in college that didn't pan out, even though he's a Shanghai Sharks legend. So? Adam Morrison was a bucket in college. Dude, Kobe Bryant went and saw Buddy Heald play. Buddy Heald bucket in college. Yeah. He's not a superstar. Yeah, but he had fucking Kobe coming out to see him because he was going off in Oklahoma. Kobe didn't call it in an interview. No, Kobe said that he would be a good pro. Yeah, but LeBron said Curry would be what he is now. No, he did it. He sent him a signed jersey. I do like LeBron, though, like being on social media in the playoffs. I love everything LeBron ever tweets or posts. It's so funny. The one when takeoff or yeah, takeoff died. That post that was ridiculous. If you see me fighting a uh, grizzly bear, help the bear. Yeah. So LeBron great. could beat a bear too, right? I I think LeBron has a way better chance of being up a bear than you. But he's fighting a grizzly. That's fine. He's almost seven feet tall. He's more muscular than you. Yeah. He's so taking it- about. As much HGH as he can to kill a grizzly bear. Yeah, 100% is. <laughs> his hair would have been gone when he was 22. Dude, did you see his hairline in that fucking T Grizzly video? Like, how does that turn into... Yeah, or uh, when he was 25 in South Beach. Yeah. I mean, it was bad then. <laughs> it was really bad then. He was incredible at basketball, though. That was his best... Stop it. In Miami... Physically, he was at his best in Miami. All around second stint Cleveland. Yeah, but he was uh, off that HGH in Cleveland there. Dude, he, I think he's been off the HGH since he went to Miami. Yeah. There's no way a 38-year-old man can look like that. No, he looks in, he's in probably the best shape of his life right now. Yeah, he looks great. You got any closing thoughts? Uh, Lakers win it all, and the Nuggets are a bad matchup. Or the Lakers are a bad matchup for the Nuggets. I think any team that moves like kind of fast is a good matchup.